I'm a Pokemon Judge 4, and welcome to the Sandman. Huh. Let's start this. There is no need for you to blink. This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content, so refrain from playing it if you can't Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. These rules conflict with the rules on the other side. The rules on the side take priority. Da, da, da. No repurposing. No distribution. Don't cut the end credits. And it, yeah, that stuff. Give great what to be jolly cat. <laughs> Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. He, just kidding. Hmm. You're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. Yeah, that'll maybe go to sleep fast. Kelly. The oh-so-terrifying story of the Sandman. I wouldn't mind a Sandman movie. He's actually a pretty cool character. Um, <laughs> well, what are you doing, cat? <laughs> Morning already? To actually move. Can a few pieces of trash. Take the lamp. Favorite teddy bear, just wash. Nice and fluffy. Put your desk tape. Photos of a teen pop star. Didn't know she was into that guy. Small but chill. Born with a picture of Bob. I guess I don't get to. Ah! <laughs> uh. These are clothes in the dresser. On top of us, a mess of stuff. I'm going to school like this. Bit of a picture face. No. Wait. Pot with a burnt bottom of the stove. Still bread and toast. Oh, yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. Oops. I toast it now. Never mind. Refrigerator, not much food inside. A bird. A bird. TV. It's been used for a long time. Shoe shelf has bigger pumps. Shoe shelf. Dad's lair boots are here. Can't go out there. Oh, I got to read this. I know. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying late at work for a while. I left money to take care of yourself for now. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called for me to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Stop. Well, a rather old pitcher taken on vacation. Oh. You're in sleep mode, photo of mom, which we'll never see, lots of books you don't understand. Dad suits, small traveling bag, dad always takes it on business trips. Dad's closet, white shirts and pants, trash can is full of Paper waste for stuff, probably. And this room. Bathroom. Detergents. Face band. 
you always gotta check everything just to just to make sure you're not missing a single thing apparently I still would like a photo of Paul <laughs> closet full clothes bats are kept in hey no messing around <laughs> I'm in my unit Let's go to school. Do I get a bike? I'm ready to go to school. I'm ready to go to school. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, let me... Oh! <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> hey, Sophie! You got a painter at your house? No. Nah. Because man, that hair. How do you get that red without paint, without a paint spill being involved? Hey, yeah. Sorry, but you guys got you. Golly, cat. Oh, golly. Uh. Now hold on, Regan. Maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor and mistook the ketchup for shampoo. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Oh, whatever. Hair, red hair looks great, and you're probably just jealous. <laughs> Miss Grundler, are you here? Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. Ah! <sighs> what are you doing, Klutz? Hurry up. You're so slow. Seriously. <laughs> Thanks, fellow classmates. I love you. <laughs> Sophie! Um, about Reagan. Try not to let it get to you. They're not worth responding to anyway. It's fine. I wonder why Reagan teases you so much. Must be hard just being her. I'm the only outlet for her stress. Um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? Oh, nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. Thanks. You got my back. Well, we're friends. I, I don't really have any friends but you. I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. Eh. Come in. Welcome, Mrs. <coughs> Welcome, Miss Grundler. Isn't Miss supposed to be capitalized? Whatever. Please take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. Miss Grundler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grundler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did we talk? Hi, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh yeah, so I did. Sorry, I'm spacing out. I forgot. It's no good, I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself until morning. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night, maybe about 10 days. Sorry, I can't really remember that either. Oh my, have you gone to the hospital? No, 
My dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him, and it would cost money. I see. I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seems that's not at his convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please don't worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it. It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. Why is light given to those in misery, and life to the better of soul, to those who long for death that does not come, who search for it more than hidden treasure, who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave? Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has hedged in? For sighing has become thy daily food, my, gro my groans Pour out like water. What I fear, what I feared has yet to come upon me. What I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness. I have no rest, but only tor turmoil. Well, I'm sure that prayer will help me sleep. Job was an honest man, an adoring justice. But as we all know, that does not ensure the disaster will not befall us, yes? Through calamity, he saw the truth, the truth that not everything can go swimmingly, though you may be too young to have such experience. Trust in the ways of the Lord and endure your hardship, just as the Son of God had faith in man and bore suffering. This is what gives us greater merit. So ends my sermon. Now, let us pray. Oh, that's a bell. That's a scary bell. <laughs> I should shower and go to bed. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh, yeah. Oh. Golly. I look awful. Bad's under my eyes work. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep. Hmm. Now I can imagine uh, a bully really wouldn't care if he can't sleep. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Prayer before bed, huh? Didn't I always do that when mom was here? Now I lay me down to sleep. Hmm. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, the Lord I pray my soul to take. Stupid. If that could put me to sleep, there'd be no trouble. No word there. <sighs> I'm glad my voice this matches my voice matches perfectly with hers. <laughs> I don't know what I think about it, I can actually can't no that's a teen box bar or whatever. Something's weird. What happened to the clock? The wall clock stopped at midnight. Weird. I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? Oh you can see the wall the clock right there. This clock stopped at twelve too. What's this about? I at least get properly dressed before I walk out. Whatever. 
What in the world? Uh, it's the old guy from that door. What happened to you? He's sleeping. Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, maybe. Did he trip and hit his head? Oh no, I have to call an ambulance. But why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I can't get through to them, how am I supposed to glean from that? Oh, I'll go tell his wife. Excuse me, I'm the Grundler girl from that store. Your husband's fainted in the hall. Excuse me, are you there, miss? It, it's not locked, it's wide open. Miss? Miss, get up, please. What happened? She's asleep, too. What's going on? Something weird here for sure. It's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? Tracking the bridge. Cover. Shouldn't go in there. Shouldn't go in there. Sorry, break and hit it as it is. If it were my house, that'd be my room. But I shouldn't go in there. Hmm. Golly, another person asleep on the ground. <laughs> Are they all sleeping like that? What in the world is happening? Is anyone else awake? Blood look tight. There's a map of the town. Got a time. Oh, hospital. I don't even want to go near a hospital at night. Yeesh. Rest in peace. David's house? I mean, I think so, based on the crack in the wall right there. Hmm. Man, what? Okay. Those are a lot of. A company called JP Jordan and Chase. Uh, do I have. A lot of type. Okay, no square button. Okay. There's a bank, locked up tight. Car for a company called Safety Guard. Restaurants locked up tight. You know what? Maybe I should actually see the town map. Who knows? Maybe there's actually a clue. So West Heights is way up top. Seven and twelve. Greenfield Heights, private school that I go to, subway station. Okay. Pressing people. Automatic door, but it won't open. Locked up tight. Okay, so we're basically just. Oh. 
It just gets weirder and weirder. All the people I've seen are asleep on the street. What in the world is going on? Hmm. Someone comes out into the dark from the darkness. Sophie? Ah, oh, so it's you. Hey David. D David? David, why are you here? I was doing overtime, but then I left to go home. Things looked weird. It's like everyone just fell asleep on the spot. I got worried, so I took a look around, and then I found you. You okay, Sophie? Not hurt or anything? Nah, eh, I'm fine. I have no clue how this happened. Yeah, me neither. Why would everyone hit the hay? I wonder if we're the only ones awake. Who can say? Maybe some are awake inside. I'll go look to see. You want to come with me? Sure. Oh, hold on. Hmm? What? My friend. My friend Anne. She lives in the dorms at school. You want to see her? If Anne's awake, I'm pretty sure she's scared. Since she's pretty timid. I want to go look for her. Well, friends are important, after all. I'll go with you. You, you can't, David. It's an all-girls school. All right. Catholic school. Yeah, no voice allowed, huh? So, no, because seriously, that doesn't matter right now. It can be dangerous. Let me go with you. I'm fine. I can do it myself. I go there every day. It's not like I'd get lost. All right, all right. If you insist. Fine on your own, huh? I'll look around elsewhere, and we'll meet up later. Come to the park once you find your friend, okay? Yeah, got it. Sophie. Don't do anything rash. If anything happened to you, I'd, you know, probably be fine. Thoughts? Okay, so I'm in the center area, so I just need to go straight down. Pressing peace. Lazy bump. <laughs> Friends! The latch on the inside keeps the gate firmly shut. Not gonna be open, of course. It's the middle of the night. Would I be able to get over this wall? Maybe I can find a ladder somewhere. Where can I find a ladder? Pressing peaceful. Going around the perimeter, I don't see anything immediately. Hmm. Maybe there's something in here. Church is also a little bit tight. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna go that way. Um. Beer guard. Here. Okay, let's see. Well, first, let's save. How about that? <laughs> um, let's see. I am the town man, so. I need a ladder. Let's see. Is there anything in the immediate? area that can be used for a ladder. So that, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. Oh well. 
Ah, uh, thank you. Got a ladder. That doesn't sound right. How did I get a ladder? Uh, I won't think. I won't think about it. Um. Hmm, one of them. Hmm, okay, get in. Is there an open window somewhere? Oh, shovel stuck in the floor. Got a shovel. Yeah, should I really? Well, this is an emergency. Oh, I'm breaking in. Yeah! That's one way to get it. Sorry, Sister Mary. Classrooms are all locked, I'm sure. I'll check the dorms for hand. Better keep quiet about the glass. Blame it on a burglar instead. Okay, let's see the other dorms. Bulletin board has a Bible verse. You said, listen now and I will speak. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Those are the classrooms. Uh, are these rooms? That's the cafeteria. Hey, Prince. <laughs> Dorm's lot. Dorm room's locked. Dorm room's locked. Dorm room's locked. 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 Oh, here it is. Boom. Save again. That's her roommate on the top bunk, but why isn't Aunt here? She didn't say she was going home. Is she somewhere in the school? But almost every room is locked. That's it, the chapel. It's never locked so people can pray any time. Maybe she could be there. Ah, uh, okay. Sure. Never mind. Here. Hmm. All right. Hey, a scaredy cat. Bible, there's a bookmark. Like a slave longing for the evening shadows, or a hired laborer waiting for the evening. So I have been allotted months of utility, and nights of misery have been assigned to me. When I lie down, I think, how long before I get up? The night dreads on, and I toss and turn until dawn. Oregon. Sorry, I had to look at everything before I even get to you. <laughs> and you're okay. Yay. S Sophie, why are you here? Things are weird in town. Everyone fell over and caught down, so I got worried about you. Come on, Anne. Let's get out of here. There's a friend of mine waiting outside. Who knows what's going on, but we should go. We should sit together. No, I won't go. Why not? No, no, no. I'm scared. They'll chase me again. Hey? Come on, Ann. It's fine. I didn't see any weird people. But. Look, this friend of mine is a guy you can trust. He'll protect you even if there are weirdos. So yeah, come with me. You don't go on the crooked man. He's fine. He, he's got this. Okay. Oh, yeah! 
What? Where are you going, little miss liar? Ugh. No, not again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Should I do running away again, are we? You really are such a liar. Liars must be punished. But what's with you? Get away from me. Boy, she's a liar, isn't she? A liar is a bad thing to be, so they must be punished. Uh, I don't have a clue what you mean. Just get away from Anne now. She's my friend. I see. Are you a liar too? Huh? Liars need punishment. Yes, it's stream punishment. So we'll become liars ourselves. No! Anne! Where'd you take Anne? Hmm, who knows? You should! Get back Anne, where'd she go? Why don't you look for her? Yeah, I love you. Thanks. What? Go take a look. Find your friend. Oh, but you have plenty of time. Fire. And. Uh, data two. And. I have three minutes to search. I'm sure she's not even in, in, in the school. Wait, but she ran from the school I saw her. Yeah. I kind of won't let the timer go out um, just to see what will happen. I mean, that's a lot of time. And yeah, she's fine. If I find her, I find her. Yo, saw her on this floor. Okay, so she's not even on this floor. Thank you for being a liar. Hmm. She must be in the door. Okay, so she's not in the door. She's not gonna be in any of the door. Hmm. I wonder if I'm even looking very well. Well, I'm, I'm not exactly giving this my all in the first place, so. Huh. Did you search the chapel? <laughs> uh, you're just saying that little fat trick again. Uh, oh, you. Uh, do I reach uh, The bottom floor. I'm really giving it my all, guys. Uh, uh, that'd be fine. Mm. Uh, let's see, but yeah. It's fine if you don't find her. You don't need to worry. Well, I'm kind of not worried. Because I'm kind of curious what happens if I don't find her. Um, even though that's probably not cool. Of me. Um, I'm a great friend. As you can see. No need to rush, it's fine. Well, I'm not rushing. She's not even close to here. Look somewhere further. Okay, so she's... Oh! I can't say. I want to be able to mess myself over. Um... By saving a field spot. So, that's telling me she's right here. And I only have a few seconds on the clock. So I'm just gonna see what happens if I mess up. 10, 9, 8. Because I do wanna get to every ending, and I'm curious if this counts as an ending. The so one. Hmm.
Okay. Oh, you just get a game over. Okay, so it's not like the Crooked Man. Okay. Uh, that's nice to know. At least I know exactly where to go. I don't know if that's fair for the... Uh, double check that it's not randomized. Okay, it's not random. They still say the same. Yeah. You like in one of the... Push the bots. Push it! Uh, liar. You're an unbelievable liar. How can you lie with such a straight face? You should just disappear. And Ah, uh, she found out. By the way, Liar's the perfect title for this episode. <laughs> Anne, are you okay? They didn't do anything weird to you. Sophie? Good. Guess you're not hurt. Anne, let's get out of here now. I'm not sure what's going on. Just know it's weird. Get up, Anne. They might come back if we don't hurry. Yeah. Yeah! But what? Liar. Okay. What are they? No. No! Wait, Anne, don't go, it's dangerous. No, no more, I'm going home. Let me go home. But you live in the dorm. And let go. Ow. Uh. Sorry, Sophie. I was scared. Um. Well, remind me to send in a lifeguard whenever you're drowning, because you would drown me too. Uh, though I'm a very poor swimmer. Uh. And. Why? After I find you, you just run away? Ugh, forget about Anne. Go cower all alone if you want. Leaving this building. Hmm. Yeah, the cafeteria. Yay, back to the outside world. So you solve it like that. Got it? Oh, I see. That made sense. You really are smart, Sophie. I can't even do my own homework. I'm envious. You're always so calm and mature and smart. And you're even really nice, too. And if it were me Reagan was bullying, I don't think I'd be brave enough to come to school. I wish I could be more like you, Sophie. Try dyeing your hair red. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the teachers always say you try your best, Anne. And I have to agree. You're way better than me. Sorry, Sophie, for never saving you from Reagan and your hair bully. I want to help, but I'm too scared. So I just watch. I'm really so sorry. Look, I don't mind at all. So, you shouldn't either, Anne. I'm just happy being together like this. Thanks. You're my best friend, Sophie. Why is she a liar in the fact that she has other friends? Sophie. How did I wake up in the park? Oh, David. Find anyone else awake? No, no good. Check the hospital and hotel, but not a single open eye. Hmm. What about your friend, Sophie? I ditched her. Well, actually, she ditched me, but... Didn't find her? No, well, I did, but... She ran off. Ran? What do you mean, ran? Um, I have a feeling you're not going to believe me, David. No, trust me, he's... He's faced the crooked man. 
Strange Last Shadows? What could that have been? I haven't seen anything odd. Do you believe me? Well, it's not a lie, is it? I know you're not a lying type. Thanks. I wonder what's up with this. Someone awake and full of shadows? Yeah, this isn't exactly normal, huh? But does it mean we necessarily we can necessarily do anything? Hmm. I'm gonna have to keep looking for others. Maybe I'll find some sort of resolution. Sophie, come with me this time. Like I told you, it's too dangerous. But I mean, it's not very efficient to go door to door together in such a big town. Don't you think splitting up would be faster? I swear, I'm fine by myself. Like, I literally took care of those shadows. No problem. They didn't even attack me. I said no. You can't go alone. Who knows what could happen? It's fine. I'd only trouble you, David. I'm going. I'd feel a lot safer having you with me than you getting into danger out of sight. Okay. Fine. But can you at least tell me where where you're sir Oh where you'll search? I was thinking of checking the West End. <sighs> it might be that the people still awake are all gathered there. So I'll check the Lumberg Mall. Oh, I gotcha. But try to stay out of danger, okay? Come back to this park as soon as you're done. Yeah, I got it. Or I'll suddenly appear in it. All right. Well, this seems like a good place to stop or save. Hey, look, I have the same amount of health as David. That's fine. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.